Let's give him hell. Level one, the kinetic sharpshooter gets uh, crossbow and bow proficiencies. Charge demonition, which allows you to use all your attack and damage bonuses to bows on your blasts. And uh, kinetic quiver level three, which basically acts as stored burn charges, which is not very clear from the description. So here, let's say you have a, a blast that costs five burn. You use the kinetic quiver. Here I'm level 20, so I have 20 charges. And now it's going to cost zero, but in fact it does cost something, but it goes to your charges instead. Uh, here I'm going to use a quick meta magic to, to use another blast. And uh, in the following turn, I'm going to use two blasts again with the quickened meta magic. And, and I take four burn because my quiver is empty. So just to recap, I started with one burn from using the quiver. I had 20 burn charges, two blasts costing five burn, 10 charges left. Then two quickened blasts costing, costing seven burn each left me with zero charges and four burn left over. Okay, so moving on, uh, Kinetic Sharpshooter gets some nice interesting infusions like exploding arrows, which does some AOE damage around the target, as well as rending arrows, which is a minus two penalty to AC and can stack up to minus 10, which is quite nice. We also have Own Diffusion, which ignores damage reduction. And finally, Chain Arrows, which uh, will strike all enemies near the target. I think 10 feet within. So let's see how those work. So here's an example of Chain Arrows. It works pretty nicely if the enemies are all clumped together. And here's the explosive shot. Also interesting. It's not a, as wide as a fireball, but can be useful, I guess. Okay, and here's why using a bow for blasts is so good. And what makes this archetype really interesting. As you can see here, I one-shot at the enemy because I did a crit. And instead of using the times two crit from a normal kinetic blast, it uses the bow's uh, crit which is times four in this case um, and then it's just like um, huge damage nova damage also you get added damage from point blank shot mythic deadly aim and you still have the elemental overflow damage which is low in this case since i don't have much burn so a question i might ask is what elements should i choose uh, you have to remember that the first level element is your primary element meaning you can expand up upon it. Also keep in mind Kinetic Sharpshooter does not gain um, Kinetic Blade or extended range, which means you won't be able to use things like Deadly Earth or Eruption. However, you can still use Wall, Cyclone and other form infusions. Here's an easy graph to decide which element to start with. So let's say you go Fire, which is an energy blast. You can double down on Fire and get a composite blue flame, which is the only composite energy blast that exists. And energy blasts are good because you can target touch AC. Although, mind you, you will need to bypass spell resistance. As for the other composite blasts, uh, they're all physical. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so fire has the most effusions, but um, they're not that interesting. Mostly you just want fire for the touch AC and maybe dreadful carnage at level five. So cold and water has some interesting infusions like pushing and entangling. However, I think their main attraction is probably the defensive and uh, utilities like uh, kinetic healing. So normally people want earth for deadly earth, but since you can't use it with this archetype, um, it's not that great. I guess entangling and bowling for tripping is still good. Okay, so air and electric I think is quite interesting for this archetype since you do get an AoE through Cyclone, which is also AoE friendly. And Magnetic Infusion is a minus 4 to AC, which can be very nice with rending arrows. Imagine up to minus 14 AC. 
So yeah, and also the defensive capability is against ranged opponents. Most of the time you're going to be ranged. So yeah, it's a tough choice. Do you want to target touch attacks with fire? Do you want to push and trip things with earth? Do you want to debuff AC even more with air? Or do you want to heal and uh, do other things with water and cold? Overall, I think this archetype is really interesting. And um, yeah, what do you think? Thank you for watching, fellow wizard. And may magic be with you.